So now, take me reacting. I have autism, and then we have people from Hollywood that are acting for me that have been filmed. They've practiced or scripted, and they've filmed something or made something for me. And I'm viewing it on my phone or on TV. So I'm reading, you know, that, um, I would assume it's all fictional, reading what has been made for me, you know, um, you know, ho ho Hollywood people that have done commercials for pop and stuff like that, and so, some of them, you know, well-known actors, so I'm reading that, and then still kind of expecting to maybe they have another underlying, um, you know, is are their actions lining with their expressions? Um, you know, and I, I think some people have overdone it for me uh, to, to show that they're acting. Um, when I was first started with Brad, I think he overacted to, to show me that he was acting. And then as I got sicker and harder, like I could see um, how it was hard for even professional actors, like they're, how, they were sad for me, you know. Um, I think Elton John is, you can tell he's upset for me, you know. Um, he'll do a, a spill or something and you can see the sadness in his eyes. <laughs> I, I could maybe be over reading that. Um, you know, there's been some that they maybe been making films for 20 years and they've sat down with Pop and maybe made something for me, but I'm still looking for maybe a secondary um, feeling or emotion. And sometimes I do get that. And I try to look at people's eyes. I try everything to see, you know, even with extremely professional actors, is there another underlying feeling or emotion? And, and some I've gotten that from, I think, um, musicians don't really have anything. They're just, you know, telling a, a story like, or, but um, I still am looking um, to see if people really care. And, um, if I find that, I, I, I tend to go towards that. Sometimes not hearing from people or seeing them means they care because they don't want to be a part of hurting me. And I respect that too. Um, I don't, and, and now I'm starting to understand that, uh, <laughs> I don't know, my life's sad, but, uh, I'm always looking for, um, cues, um, emotional cues. Do they match what is given to me, you know? And then even now on screen or on phone with extreme professionals, do they match? Is this their real feelings of what is acting, what is them? And uh, it's really, I'm sure, much harder with autism. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. <laughs>